Assalamualaikum and greetings human beings If you've been collecting gas masks for a while You might have noticed that helmet style gas masks are still being manufactured Like the Chinese TF1 and also the mask I'll be talking about The Russian SHM-2012 SHM-2012 as the name suggests Were introduced to the general population back in 2012 as a gas mask intended for industrial use. I will focus the review on the second version of the mask since I only own this version thanks to the fact that I'm residing in Malaysia, not Russia. Well, it's hard if not impossible to get an SHM-2012 for those living outside Russia since SHM-2012 is exclusive only for the Russian market. Now let's have a look on the second version of the SHM-2012. It has triangular lenses and a voice emitter similar to the PMK2 whereby the valve assembly is similar to the SHM-66MU. The thread is GOSS 876-275 with a thread pitch of 4mm. From this side, we could see some labels molded onto the face piece. This is where the wearer's right ear would be positioned at. Here's a closer look at it. In this region, what you're seeing here is not written in Latin alphabets, but instead in Cyrillic alphabets. The letters YRS stands for Yevrazyskoye Sotvetsvia. In English, it is Eurasian Confirmity. It is a certification mark to indicate products that confirm to all technical regulations of the Eurasian Customs Union, of which members are consisted of Russia, Kazakhstan, Belarus, Armenia, and Kyrgyzstan. In this region, on the other hand, it is written TRTS on Odin Deviat, Tvetis Yachi, Odinat. Third, in English, it means TRTC 019-2011, a Russian standard for personal protective equipment PPE. Here, there are three labels. The top indicates that thumb of mush is the manufacturer of the mask. The middle indicates that the mask was made around the two fourth quarter of the year 2021. The bottom indicates the batch number, in this case 217. At the chain area of both sides, there is a size indicator. This example is a size 3. Here is where the wearer's left ear would be positioned at. Here's a closer look of it. The labels are written in interlaced form. So here is what it is written in normal Russian Cyrillic script. The translated Russian labels are as follows. The highlighted line indicates the thread of the mask. This one here is self-explanatory. The line shows another Russian standard for personal protective equipment, PPE. I am not sure what these lines mean. Here's a look on the inside. That's the primary valve with the secondary valve being here. That's the voice emitter between these two diesel tubes. Right, so I'm going to wear the SHM 2012. I'm going to use this Chinese industrial filter. So this is a modern one. Uh, there's no asbestos at all in this filter, so it should be safe. Right, so uh, it's quite tight. I mean, it is quite new. It's made, it was made in the uh, 2021, anyways. Uh, well, uh, this is how it looks like. Uh, the breathing resistance is quite tolerable. It does pressurize, and as you can hear. For now, uh, the first emitter works well. Pretty much, the uh, field of view is quite good. Obviously, if you wear glasses like I, I do, you can't actually wear them. 
Anyhow, here's some technical info regarding the mask from Zelensky group in Russian. This is its translation in English roughly done by Google Translate. Do note that the class material is referring to the material of the lenses of the mask. Sizes as indicated here is 1, 2, 3 and 4. Size 4 being the largest size of the SHM 2012. This is the Eurasian Economic Union EAEU or EEU certificate for the SHM 2012. I think that's all from me. Thank you for watching.